There are various packages in R for handling maps and in particular plotting them and one of these packages is ggplot which provides a function ggmap. So to be able to make use of this package we need to download various maps to work with. Google Maps is one of the options that we can use. So if we load up our ggmap function, so we run the require command, we'll then have access to a function get underscore map which will allow us to download a map from various sources and in various formats. So we can specify longitude and latitude combined with the zoom will allow us to pick out a particular location at a given level of resolution or zoom. So the longitude and latitude coordinates that have been selected here are for the London 2012 Olympic Stadium. So our source is Google map type satellite and it's going to be a color map. So if we run our commands here and we have a pretty straightforward command in ggmap where we specify the object that's been downloaded and then extent.device stretches to the edge of that particular plotting region. So we don't have any um, axes, etc., legends and so on. So here we can see the satellite image as expected and we're zoomed in at a particular level. So let's say we zoom out to 16 and go for a terrain map type. Basically everything else is the same that we've set here. So we select our commands, run that, and then we'll see that our map has been updated. So it's um, not the particularly nicest way of viewing things. I think the background is not particularly good here. So another option is the roadmap. So we just change our map type to roadmap. Again, run our commands and we'll find that we've got a different um, plot behind here. So now this looks a bit more appealing. It's not a lot different to the previous one, but we've got various roads marked on here that are labeled up, sort of green area, rivers, and then the Olympic Stadium location in the middle. One last thing we could look at is a hybrid, and this is what we might typically expect to see. So we've gone hybrid, zoomed out a bit, a bit further, this is what we typically see when we are generating um, or working with satellite images that have various things superimposed on them. So if we pop over to our device, now it's been downloaded. So this is a typical satellite image that we'd expect to see. And we've got various things labeled on there.